and also the Barbie. The code be Wagyu, mm. but we put on a Barbie. Makes things interesting. <laughs> Barbie, yeah. What, what about the king? Barbie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's another idea. I'll get it on later. Yeah. Hi everybody, tonight I'm back to the city and uh, I'm standing in front of uh, one of the biggest uh, Chinese hot pot restaurants. You know, look at all these photos, one of the really famous and trendy and something unique restaurant. And uh, tonight I will show you all the amazing dishes for our viewers, okay? Okay, Nick, um, yeah. can you tell us about when did you open this restaurant and also what's your big why you opened this restaurant why okay so hi everyone i'm the owner of the restaurant my name is nick i opened this restaurant since 2017 okay actually we are fantasy master fantasy of australian mm. simply why i bring this brand because mm. this is the largest hopo chain in china mm. in china there's around 800 stores and i think in my opinion the brand is authentic their flavor quality yeah, I visited mm -hmm. their factory a couple of times, mm -hmm. which is a very high standard. I am totally blown away. So that's why I bring this bread to Australia. Looks really nice. Thank you. And your, re your restaurant is really famous, especially on the Instagram. So I saw all the posts so many times, especially this uh, the Wagyu Barbie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I believe people like to photo take a photo now. Yeah. yeah, especially when they see something special, mm -hmm. something beautiful. The one willing to take a photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got something a little bit interesting and extra. Just like you see, what's in the port? Mm -hmm. There's a Hello Kitty in the port. And actually, it's a butter. Yeah, it's a seasoning butter. Mm -hmm. After we put in the soup, it will melt it, mm -hmm. make the broth flavor, spicy part. When we provide some quality food mm -hmm. and make things a little bit extra, people will love it. Yeah. We just maintain the quality of the food, the flavor. I think we were good. Well, yes. tonight what we have, and uh, can you explain to us? Okay, no problem. Because hoppo is always about the variety of the food. So, as you can see, yeah, it's a beautiful setup on the table. First of all, I arrange very two traditional Chinese snacks mm -hmm. in every hoppo restaurant in China, which is deep fried pork belly. Mm -hmm. Deep fried pork deep, belly? Yeah, exactly. And okay. the flavor, flavor, the Chinese mm -hmm. pepper in it. Yes, you try it, very different. Mm -hmm. And also the rice cake deep fried rice cake with brown sugar and a peanut powder. Yeah. This really? too, yes. But this did you say that all the Chinese hot pot, you know, you, you get the, the dishes? Yeah, because it's <laughs> traditional. It's traditional style. It's perfectly matched the hot restaurant in Sichuan. Yeah. You go to Sichuan, mm. you want a pork belly, deep fried, mm. rice cake, no problem. Mm. You won't miss it in any restaurant. Oh, yeah. okay. That's the entry here. Interesting. Of course, mm. meat. Mm. That's a must. Mm. Meat. It's we have a, pork. Yeah. <laughs> we have a quality beef here. Yeah. This is a A5, mm. yeah, Japanese Wagyu, mm. and also the M9 short rib, mm. and the Wagyu dress on a barbie. Yeah, this is the signature <laughs> dish, right? Yes. Even yes. talking about this. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not meat, mm. but a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also the most important thing for a hot pot restaurant, mm. the broth. The broth. Mm. Yeah. As I mentioned, we have franchisee. Mm. The spicy base mm. actually we get from Sichuan, where our main company mm. factory from. So all the flavor is exactly the same as what we get in China. In China, mm. but I do a little bit extra, a little bit extra. I muted mm. the seasoning and I make some butter in house, mm. shaped to Hello Kitty. Yeah. Today you see Hello Kitty. Actually, there's more. We have a fish, a little doggy, some other shaped butter, and okay. also because of the spicy broth, it's very strong and aggressive. We need something non-spicy to make the balance. So that's why we develop the chicken broth. Chicken broth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken broth is the, the, the most recommended uh, soup, right? Yes, yes. 
And uh, this one takes six hours to cook the broth. This is more for cooked food, for the food. This one drinks right away. And uh, good for the health. Especially after we put the fish more, good for the skin. <laughs> Later on, <laughs> enjoy. But when, especially weekend, how many mode Hello Kitty, you know, you guys making? Oh, <laughs> must be a lot. <laughs> a lot. Okay. I can't tell the number, but it's a lot. Yeah. It must be. <laughs> yeah. Especially weekend. Yeah. It's the chicken broth. Yeah. Come with the free range chicken. Oh, is that the free range, free range chicken? chicken? It's different. Okay. Mm. Just a, a few type of the chicken. Mm. Some for broth mm. soup, mm. but this one is free range. More soft, mix more soft. Mm. And also the fish more. Girls will love it. Make the skin looks good. Mm. Yeah, fish more. After starting boiling, we'll put it inside. Yeah. Okay. It tastes good. Yeah. Mm. And also this one, maybe you don't know where, what is this. This is the oh, smash the shrimp. Oh, but wow. you might be see other places to <laughs> the smash the shrimp. Mm -hmm. But they make it like a so meat bowl or something. Yeah. But we put inside to a bamboo fungus. Okay. Bamboo fungus? Yes. <laughs> because bamboo fungus is yeah. easy to suck the flavor from the broth. Yeah. So when you eat it, it will become very juicy. Mm. And then you feel the texture of the smash the stream. So it's like two layers from one product. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let me try. It's a very interesting feel. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And also the Tofu combo, just fresh tofu, tofu skin, tofu frozen skin. frozen tofu, and deep fried tofu rolls, and mm -hmm. also the mushroom combo as well. Okay. Yeah. What do you want For the first time here, you mm -hmm. don't know what you order. Get a combo. You won't get it wrong. Everything you get, everything you get. Everything. Guys, I checked the Google reviews. Mm -hmm. They're talking about all the combos. Yeah, because it's easy to order. Easy to order, and especially tofu people. You know, especially Western people, they don't know the all different kind of tofu exactly, anyway. Exactly. Because in China, whole mm. body, as I mentioned, is a variety of the food. Mm. So in our menu, mm. there's more than 100 dishes you can choose from. Sometimes people are confused. Mm. So all the combo, you won't get wrong. Mm. What about that one? The yellow it's one? It's the egg dumpling. Egg, egg dumpling? Egg dumpling. Okay. Instead of the skin made of wheat, mm. but this one is egg. And it was pork in it. Beautiful color. Yeah, Personally, I, I like didn't it. know what this was. I prefer it for <laughs> the normal dumpling. Because mm. the color looks beautiful. Because Chinese say, when you cook a dish, mm. se xiang wei. Se means the color. Mm. The way it looks mm. make you more willing to eat. Oh, I see. Before yeah. you eat, mm. you already think it's going to be tasty good. Mm. Okay, the Nick. Please show up the, the people never been here how to do the spice bar the way. Okay, eat. okay, no problem. Especially this one. For the barbie? Okay, <laughs> no problem. I do this first. Okay. So for the meat, actually it's a really thing, very easy to cook. Okay. We just grab one piece of the meat. Yeah. Actually, it's different from the barbecue. Mm. Actually, we're holding the chopstick. We hold it. We hold it. Up and down up and down about 15 seconds some people like it more raw so make it shorter if you like it more well cooked just stay longer okay for me that's good for me that's good because it's really thin so mm. easy to cook okay and I put in the sauce make enough sauce and I also can cool down the meat a little bit oh, I see. yes okay and roll it whole thing in your mouth Wait, hold it. Hold it. Feel lost in the broth, it's very hard to find it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Depends on the, how you want to do it. Yeah, but how you want to do it. Yeah. It should be enough. Good. Too spicy bit, for you? A little bit spicy. A little bit spicy. Mm. You can also try the non spicy. You will feel different. If you want the balance there, mm. try the chicken broth. Try the chicken broth. Mm. Good? Mm. Good. So you can feel more about the meat itself. You lose that aggressive mm. spice feeling. It's different. That's why we have the. Double flavor, mm. both. Yeah, you can try both at a time. Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, two try five. Uh, oh, actually, I want yeah. to try this one. Even cake, talking about yeah. this rice, rice cake, rice cake. Yeah. tip a little bit brown sugar, brown sugar, yeah. and a tip a little bit the, the powder. Yeah, okay. Make a big bite. It's made of rice. Sticky rice. Sticky rice. Sticky rice. Sticky rice. It, yeah. it is more like a kind of dessert. Huh? Japanese matchy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> No, this is good. Yeah. So maybe this is a special uh, sauce, right? Yeah, people should try special sauce. Secret recipe? No, really. <laughs> no you know really. what? You know what? Yeah. People in Sichuan, mm. this is the sauce they use mm. for most of them. Very okay. simple, mm. but it lasts for thousand years. Mm. There's a lot of garlic in it, a lot of sesame oil, yeah, sesame oil. a little bit shallow, mm. a little bit coriander. Mm. Okay, because like I mentioned, in Sichuan, mm. they only eat spicy broth mm. so everything is super spicy super hot mm. okay after they take out from the broth yeah. they dip in the sauce because there's uh, so many sesame oils mm. will cool down the food itself cool down. this is more traditional more Sichuan way Sichuan way yeah, but, uh, what about all the, the viewers and customer neighbor being here how people can order this special sauce so easy so easy mm. later yeah. you can check actually we have a sauce station yeah. sauce station there are 20 kinds of sauces mm. in the station. Mm. No matter what kind of flavor you like, you always can find in the sauce station. This is so Sichuan, Sichuan. Rou <laughs> Sesame soy sauce. Sesame soy sauce? Yeah. Just uh, simply call the stuff. Yeah. It will help for yeah. sure. Or yeah. me. Okay. But I mix first. Because the garlic is, mix first, because the garlic is in the bottom. Ah, yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah, garlic in the bottom. So you need to make it even. Uh, mm. Make sure dip in the spicy broth. Because it's especially for the spicy broth. Mm. Keep it there a little bit longer, and then when you grab it, with some garlic. Yeah, just down the bottom, yeah. lots of yeah. garlic. Yeah. yeah. Good. I recommend. I, I, I really recommend. This <laughs> you like good. it? Yeah, I like it. This is the perfect match mm. with the spicy broth. Mm. That's how Sichuan people eat hot pot. Mm. Everyone you see, they get this sauce. So guys, this is the the one of the really few places you can try Japanese A5 Wagyu and this is the only restaurant using uh, Japanese A5 chuck roll there's not any other places so you must try A5 Wagyu because especially they only choose uh, the most marvelous part of a chuck roll and with uh, what they call it? Gold, gold leaf? leaf. Yes, gold on the top and I'll, I'll try it Make sure it's not overcooked, I think. The sauce thing is so easy to cook. Yeah. And this uh, traditional. Give me a love the sauce. Love the sesame oil and garlic. This is good, mm. really good. I really, I really <laughs> This is good. Good. Japanese Wagyu A5. People, guys, try it. Not many places. You can try A5, especially Chakura, only play here. Okay? A5 is always the best. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Hopefully, you enjoyed and had fun. Make sure to check our Instagram account. Spice World Australia. Thanks for watching. Okay, tonight we are showing one of our, our really amazing customers. It was Spice World, and uh, I will pick two things tonight. One is this is the really unique Chinese hot restaurant, and it's nothing like a normal sort of like a run of the meal Chinese hot restaurant. You can easily go wherever you. Uh, leave and uh, this is the next level of Chinese hot pot. Everything is so fresh and really tasty, very unique. But something like a Hello Kitty, uh, the butter and the robot coming towards your tables. Wagyu wow, Bobby, some people call it uh, Lady Gaga. I highly recommend. I This restaurant made me to come back with my family or my friends. 
this is the really different. Okay. The other thing is, if you know, uh, even meat lava, you don't really need uh, like a full range of the meat or different things like uh, veggies or mushroom, whatever. You know, if you are like a uh, vegans or vegetarians, you can even enjoy all different super fresh uh, vegetables. So I highly recommend. So thank you for watching and please check our YouTube channel and read and subscribe it and also check um, Spice World uh, Facebook, Instagram as well as uh, my company's uh, social media as well. And if you have uh, any customers I should visit, please let us know. All right. Thank you for watching tonight. See you soon. Ha ha ha!